Hi everybody, welcome to the introduction lesson for the semester. I just wanted to go over the things that you're going to be working on this week to help clarify that because this week is a little different from the rest of the semester. You're going to be working on some assignments this week that you won't you know, have to worry about again. So I just wanted to clarify what you'll be doing and you know, hopefully start off the semester on the right foot and make sure everybody knows what's expected of them and that nobody's confused. So right now I'm on the lesson introduction lesson main page, which of course you can navigate to on the menu on the left. So you, there's a welcome message and the objectives uh, for the week. So make sure you read over those, but the overview is where I'm really going to start. And that's because the overviews for each week will always list the due dates. Um, you can clearly see that you're always going to have assignments due Wednesday at midnight or actually just before midnight and Saturday. So those are the two days that you will always have work due. And then of course on Thursday, you will always have your pathway gathering. So I hope your first gathering this week is great and that you have a good time with that and that you enjoy it for the rest of the semester. Uh, this Wednesday, you need to complete your um, the orientation to online learning. I believe it's just a quick video um, and you can of course access that on the menu on the left. Also, you need to read the course syllabus and then take the syllabus quiz on, of course, the syllabus. Uh, if you have any questions about the syllabus, of course, don't hesitate to let me know before you take that quiz. Then you need to orient yourself with the uh, BYU-Idaho Writing Center. This is an excellent resource for you to use throughout the semester as you work on um, different drafts of your paper. You can submit it and have them uh, write some comments back to you. Uh, and it's just another form of getting, or another way of getting feedback uh, so that you can revise your papers and make them the best that they can be. Uh, something extremely important this week is to register for your speaking partner. And if you have any questions about the speaking partner program, uh, you can always try asking me, but mostly if you have a question, you need to go to the speaking partner program itself. I am not a part of that. I am not... I'm, I'm just the grader, really. So they're a completely separate entity outside of this course. So if you have a question on it, again, feel free to ask me, but more than likely, I'm going to have to refer you to the program itself. So um, depending on your question, you probably just want to go straight there, such as not being assigned a partner. Sometimes that takes time. If you need an alternative assignment, you have to go through them. Um, so make sure you visit their page and get familiar with it and how to contact them. Also, you need to start the discussion board for the week, which is just introducing yourself. Uh, of course, Thursday, you attend your pathway meeting. And then Saturday, you need to complete the Living a Life of Honor assignment, um, update any of your personal information, finish up the discussion board by reading your classmates' posts and then responding to at least two. Uh, you also need to... Um, comment in some way on the question, uh, the course questions discussion board, and then you need to complete your attendance and weekly reports. So these two you'll definitely be doing um, every week. Um, you'll have a discussion board every week. Other than that, all of these things are just kind of things to get you started in the semester. So if you have any questions or problems, let me know. So as we cruise down here on the lesson main page, I just want to point out how laid out um, things are for you and they're always easily accessible for you. So you need to watch this video, see the link. It just links up right there. Uh, and you need to do that, of course, before Wednesday. Just kind of gives you an overview of what academic learning is and um, how to be successful. Also, this is to direct access to the syllabus and the syllabus quiz, as well as the speaking partner registration. <clears throat> when it comes to your gathering, uh, your instructions will always be listed here as to what you need to do. Once you start writing papers, you're always going to be taking drafts to your gathering and getting feedback from your um, peers there. And then for Saturday, this is all of the information that you need to complete those assignments. So the living the life of honor, updating your personal information, the discussion board. Um, here's the link to the writing center. This should take you to the course questions board. So um, either that or it is the assignment. Um, I don't know, but I just wanted to point out that all of this information will be laid out for you every week. So this week it looks kind of daunting because there's a few things extra that you'll be working on, but for the most part, um, the rest of the weeks will really follow into a nice pattern 
And, uh, and that's good. It makes the course easier because online learning can be very intimidating and it can be confusing. So it's nice when a course follows a pattern like this does. Also, um, the reports that you need to fill out each week are the attendance report uh, for your gathering. If you ever um, have a gathering canceled, always, always email me. Email me what the situation is and then I will go in and excuse that assignment for you. But you have to let me know. Otherwise, um, it'll show up as a zero. So uh, when you fill out your report, hopefully you're always saying yes. Otherwise, you need to mark no. And if you're marking no because it was canceled, then you need to email me. And then, of course, complete your, your weekly report. So this is pretty much, uh, let me cruise through here and, and see if you need anything. Under the orientation materials, you'll see pretty much everything you need uh, to complete this week's work. So always use the menu on the left, but really get used to those main pages for each lesson because they really outline um, what you need to know. Also, um, under the other tabs, you'll find the other assignments you need to know. So everything should be laid out pretty well for you. If you have any questions or concerns, don't hesitate to let me know. So I hope you have a great first start, uh, to, or a great start to the first lesson in the first week. I hope you have a very successful and happy semester. I really do look forward to working with you. So if there's anything I can do to make things easier for you, um, don't hesitate. Just let me know, and I will do the best that I can for you.